going guys, I'm Worse SMT here, and welcome back to another video, and today, we're playing Five Nights at Candy's, second night, let's go, let's see what the, if the phone guy or anything goes on, that's different, I don't know, let's play this game, mm. oh my god, I love Dr. Pepper, alright, let's go, let's go, what do you have to say this time? You have one new message. One! Uh, hello? 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 Uh, see? I told you to do just fine. Uh, anyway, I thought I'd mention, uh, we, we have this little, um, uh, list of, uh, <clears throat> problems, uh, that we have observed with the animatronics over some time. Elaborate? Uh, it's, it's nothing to be concerned about. No, no, no tell me. The animatronics do have a few minor glitches. Uh, yeah. Uh, we're, of course, trying to get them fixed, uh, but you should know some of them so you don't get. Uh, what is that? If you hear anything. Let me see. Um, the animatronics sometimes start to walk around on their own. Uh, Sometimes in the morning, we find them in the strangest places. <laughs> uh, so you may see them walking around while you're here. Uh, let me see. Some of their sensors are a bit wonky. Uh, and, and, oh, and in case the animatronics is experiencing violence towards a guest, the animatronic will try to seek out the cause and uh, stop it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I have no idea how it decides to do that, but. It doesn't seem to mind it with the children, though. It's, it's weird. If, the, if there are children playing cops and robbers, you know, and one of them gets shot, you know, uh, the animatronics don't really do anything out of the ordinary. Uh, except after that day, uh, the animatronics don't really seem to function properly oh, shit. around adults. Uh, especially not around the staff. Yeah, the animatronics seem to ignore you most of the time, you know, unless you come near them. And they just turn their heads and look at you. Like, as if you just told a bad joke. <laughs> I, I don't know, it, it, it's kind of creepy. Um, but, yeah, we kind of had an accident about a month ago. It seems to have, like, traumatized their systems or something like that. Uh, anyway, we replaced the faulty animatronic with some brand new ones. Yeah, so he's stored way in the back until we can get someone to fix him. Anyway, if I were you, I'd keep the other ones at distance, and uh, use the doors if you have to. Um, that would be it for now. Uh, ha have a good night. Alright, you two. Uh, Alright, that was a weird beep. Um, so this time, more characters are out. Um, they're more active. There's a monkey now, that's interesting. Um... I don't know his name. I'm gonna name you Jojo. How about that? Your name's gonna be Jojo for now. So Jojo is uh, doing something. I don't, I don't know Jojo's name. Uh, maybe I'll find out in a bit. But I I'd rather not have Jojo up, up close to me because uh, that's a bit dangerous. Not gonna lie. He. Uh, right, I wonder if jo okay, so Jojo's gone now. See anywhere nearby? Cause that's what matters most. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, so he's like Foxy, alright. He's like Foxy from Five Minutes of Freddy's 1. Alright, that, that's actually really interesting. Wow, so, <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, I should probably take a look here and there around the place, the building. Just to make sure none of them are nearby, because if they're nearby, then that's going to suck. Oh, look, they're right next to each other. How about that? Look at how cool that is. That's nice. That's perfect. That's beautiful. I totally like that. I don't. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, God. All right, door. All right, so I got the door going on. And then open you. We're all good there. He's away. He's away. I'm assuming he's away. Because, you know, he's not right by the door here, as you guys can see. Very clearly, he's not right there. Uh oh. All right, you're shut. So you just gotta get with the angle of the game. You gotta think about how the game plays, and, and then you're good. You're good. You're, you're all safe and you're fine. You're dandy. Oh boy. Um, I don't want them up close to my, you know, face because these animatronics look like they'd be very keen on ripping me apart. So 
I don't want to get on their bad side, if you know what I mean. So, that might be something I want to watch out for. Just, just saying, just something I want to watch out for and make sure it doesn't get me killed, basically, and end up in a hospital. By the way, does this calendar change? Like, does it, like, was it, like, 15 the other day? I'm curious to see if that's the case. We'll find out on night three. All right, if that's if we survive to night three. I hope we do, because if we die on night two, you know how embarrassing that would be? Thing is going along pretty smoothly, if you know what I mean. So, <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, shut the door. Always shut the door the moment you see those eyes. You want to shut the door, because if you don't shut the door, you're dead. It's essentially how this game plays. So JoJo's just hanging out there. Um, not much else we can worry about for now until something else is. Oh, hello, hello, hi, hi JoJo. Don't go through my door, please. Come on, roll over the 6 a.m. Um, alarm clock. Come on, you can do it. Don't think you can't. Cause you can do it, alarm clock. You can do it. I believe in you. Okay, so Candy is gonna be in camera for any moment now. And that's a bit worrying, because once, once Candy's by the door, then we're dead. <laughs> um, so I might want to watch out for that. I might want to watch out for that. Just gonna check back and forth, though. Maybe that's like the best strategic. I really don't have to check the cameras, honestly. You just gotta listen out for footsteps. But that might change in a few nights. Oh! It rolled over! Yay! Whoa! What is it this what is it this time? Load and feed. Alright. What's it gonna be this time? What? What? What is going on? Is that... Was that blood? This game's darker than I thought. <laughs> Alright, so this is night three. We're going with night three now. See what night three is like. See who's coming out on night three. Hopefully the penguin comes out. But I want to see what the penguin acts like. But um, yeah, we're gonna just see. Just uh, wait for the phone call. They explain everything, and all will be explained. And yeah, the the calendar does change. That's actually really neat. You have one new message. Uh, hello. <laughs> Looks like you're doing a fine job. I mean, you're still here. <laughs> uh, you already like practice as good as the last guard we had I except of course you know he got fired in the end but fired yeah he uh, he kind of damaged one of the animatronics during the shift uh, i mean you wouldn't do that would you what um i guess he went a little crazy you know being alone in the dark each night uh you know that character that the kids can draw on you know uh blank i think uh, yeah, I always really liked that one. It's, it's a brilliant concept. Uh, yeah, his suit is made out of some special plastic stuff, I think, uh, that the kids can come in and, you know, uh, grab a crayon and uh, start drawing on his head or his arms. Uh, some of the others here think that he looks a bit scary um, after that whole uh, security guard thing. Uh, we, we tried our best to fix him, but uh, parts of him, like his left hand and the back of his head, are still. What is that? Uh, but the kids don't really seem to mind it, you know. So it's not a major issue. Um, yeah. From what we can tell, uh, his head got a real beating, so he might act a little uh, strange. Um, like he sometimes tried to get into the office through the window, and he even managed to crack the glass slightly once. Uh, yeah, if he leaves the drawing room, just shut the window door so he doesn't break the glass. 
those old ones you couldn't really see glass very well. Um, by the way, we're expecting more customers over the course of the next days, so next week we may need you on the day shift too, if you're up for it. Um, well anyway, have a good night. Oh! Oh! Okay! So now we got some more interesting things coming out after us. Uh, we got some of the old characters gonna mu- Whoa! Whoa, 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 what? 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 What just happened? What just happened? Right, I understand what he said about glass, but that means every time I check the cameras, I gotta make sure I have it closed? Are you kidding me? What? Oh, okay. So, I got every time I check the cameras, I gotta make sure that this thing is closed so he doesn't crack that glass and kills me. Uh, this camera is especially deadly. The, the middle the middle cameras here I don't want to check these things because if I check that while he's out there and the windows open I'm dead how he got to me that quick I don't know I don't even know what just happened there so <laughs> I don't know all right that was just crazy though all right, so start out with 1 a.m. so now I gotta check out see if he's out yet all right so we got that thing out not sure what that thing is I'm going to call you Jerry for now, that, that little blue thing, and blank is the name of that thing that, I think that's blank, the thing that just killed me. Um, yeah, so that's what it's called now. So I got my first game over screen, so that's cool. I'm going to need to make sure I watch out for him though, because that's pretty crazy. So that means he can disable my cameras too, right? Oh, that's going to be hard. Okay, that's gonna be a bit tricky dicky. Coming out there, buddy? Because I have my window shut. Oh, God! I did not hear you. I didn't hear him. I didn't hear him. Wow, this is actually really challenging now. Because I gotta conserve my battery while I shut doors and also make sure that the front doesn't get smashed. Otherwise, I'm dead. It's game over. So. I'm gonna check the camera and make sure he's not out yet. All right, that's good. So he's not out yet, so that's nice. Um. All right, that's neat. That's ne that's neato. All right, that's neat. All right, I'm gonna check the camera again, see if he's out now. All right, so he's not out yet, so that's neat. Uh, I'm gonna open this up now because I don't. I want. I want to try to save as much battery as I can because now that I have all this going, I have. The two doors, the window, and the the flashlight, or I should say the night vision. So that that's four things that can take up my battery. That's a bit challenging. Uh, Cause I gotta watch out things like every time I open the camera up too. Um, I gotta make sure that that's closed. Otherwise, he can punch through it. And that's creepy alone to think of. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. And then check again. Are you out yet? All right, so he's about to pounce, but not now. So I better be right. I don't know what you're doing. You're just staring at the camera. It's not really that scary. It's still scary, but not that scary. So I don't know what you're doing. All right, um, so I'm going to check again. Camera 11, 2, 5. Nope, nothing yet. Going to check around, make sure that nothing's around me. All right. Oh, oh, hi, hi. Hi, JoJo, I think your name is. Hi, hey, how you doing there, buddy? I'm just going to shut the door on you. Just open it now. And check around. Shut the door. Check again. Make sure that the other guy... Oh, the penguin! Hold on, wait, what? Now, does the penguin go by the window or... The doors? Huh. I actually don't know. I was never instructed about the penguin yet. Alrighty then. Now, my, my biggest question is, if he doesn't think of the problem, then why is he instructing me what to do when an animatronic appears? Then again, I guess I can go with Five Minutes Freddy's as well. But I'm just saying, like, that's something I just don't understand. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to click you. Check that. 
make sure that that's all closed and all said and done with and oh shut you lock you out gonna go away now oh I thought you walked back I was about to say don't you do that to me oh oh all right check the window and I gotta check you okay there's, I, I'm sorry but this game you gotta think about what actions you gotta take and that's actually kind of cool um all right so I'm gonna tilt that up and check around a bit again I'm not sure what to do when the penguin comes nearby do I do anything special with the penguin comes nearby do I shut the window as the penguin comes nearby I don't know what to do I'm just a simple night guard who wants his paycheck that's all I want I don't know if I'm even a him or her I don't know I just want my paycheck I just want to get out of here I don't want to come back here ever again and here at the the um, the candies burger and fries area oh hi I heard you there I heard you there penguin man I heard you what are you doing you come nearby you come nearby to eat me cuz I don't oh yes it rolled over oh another minigame or I should say another cutscene how unexpected of this to ever occur am I right oh is that blood is that all blood oh 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 my god it's the puppet it's it's the puppet oh no he's getting closer and closer he's getting closer and closer he looks angry dude he looks angry <laughs> Oh, you don't look so happy there, puppet. You look a little bit angry. But anyways, guys, this was Five Nights at Candies. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys leave a like. Um, I will record, obviously, part three, which is night four and five, in the next episode. So, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a like. Do my channel, hit that subscribe button. I'll keep you guys updated on any other updates to the game, whatever. I'll see you guys next time. Have an amazing day. Peace out and have a good one.